Today I want to go over one tip that I like to use in Datadog, which is using span hooks to add additional tags and metadata to my traces generated from application performance monitoring. Um, and this allows me to do additional business intelligence or business analytics queries in App Analytics. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to be using Node, and I've built a little sample application to demonstrate. It's just a basic express application. As you can see, I require in the Datadog Tracer, ddtrace.js. Uh, I bring in you know, my dependencies, and then the application itself is just a really basic one route application. All it's doing is sort of simulating what an e-commerce store might do. So it receives a request. It determines how much the customer spent, somewhere between 10 and $100 and then it maybe applies a discount and it sends a response saying, hey, thanks for shopping. Here's what you spent today. Here's how much you saved. And so we can see what this looks like in Datadog by just starting the application and then testing it with a little bash script I wrote, which just generates a fake first name and then makes a request to our application with the name attached to the query parameter. So you can see I make a request that says, hey, thanks for shopping today. Here was your order or hey, Newton, thanks for shopping your order. You saved $5. And we make a few requests to simulate some traffic. And then if we were to go into Datadog, you could see these requests start to flow into our application. Okay, let me sort by the right environment here. Just make a few more requests. And here you go. And so, if we're looking at these traces, one thing you'd all notice is that they're not particularly useful when it comes to sort of learning about our business. And so, for example, we don't see whether the discount code was applied. We don't know the name or any details about the customer who visited. And so we want to fix that. And I'm going to use span hooks today to do that. So it's really easy to add span hooks. First, you just want to enable app analytics. We'll set analytics to true in the tracers initialization code. And then all we're really doing here is we're bringing in essentially a integration specific function. Um, we, in this case, express. <clears throat> and all this function does is it gets invoked just before the span finishes and it allows you to add any sort of arbitrary tags or metadata or do any filtering you might wanna do. So in this case, it's just a little anonymous function. It checks whether the customer has made a request with a name attached to it. And if so, it sets on the span that customer's name. And I'm setting it under the tag um, customer name. And so now if I start to if I restart my application with analytics enabled and this span hook attached, and I make a few more requests, simulating some more traffic. Okay, thanks for shopping, Macy, Jaden, Stevie, etc. Now, if we go into Datadog, we're going to notice that, we'll just make a few more. We're going to notice, hopefully, when these spans flow through, that now the customer name is attached really easily, and it's attached to the correct span too, which is important, this top level span, which is enabled for App Analytics. So if I were to hop over into App Analytics now, maybe I wanna see a breakdown of every customer that visited recently um, with a name that contains the letter Y. And so because I've already added as a facet this customer name tag, I can just update my search and say customer name and I'll do some wild carding for any customer name with the letter Y in it. And I can go, you can see, okay, there's six traces. I could maybe group by uh, the customer name itself. I could view this in a table example. Great, so now I see all the customers who have visited. It looks like Cassidy and Dudley have all visited recently. So as you can see, this can be pretty powerful. I could add any arbitrary attributes here. I could add maybe details about the checkout. I could add details about um, the customer's uh, address, for example. And so then maybe I was experiencing latency. I could see, okay, is this latency coming from a particular region or particular state? Because I can group and filter and sort by these arbitrary tags. So that's a span tags in a nutshell. Um, I suggest taking a look at our docs and, and trying it out yourself. And you'll find, I think, that it adds a lot of value when you want to use App Analytics to do 
uh, business intelligence or business analytics queries. Thanks. Thanks for listening.